Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you. Good evening and welcome. We have Stephanie and also Raul. Hello, Raul. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Nice. I'm, I'm pretty good. good. I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Uh, we're going to wait a couple of minutes for your classmates so they can join us. It's nice to have you on this beautiful day, which is Monday. Okay. Okay, hello, good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. This is section number five. This is the last week of this module, which is intermediate number one. This is class number 13. It's nice to have you again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Waiting for your classmates so they can join us today. It's nice to have you again. So we have 11 right now. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me a minute, please, thank you. So uh, this is section number five. Tell me about your family. We're going to work with that. Asking about families. We have intermediate number one. And this is class number 13. This is the last week, as you may know, of this module, which is intermediate um, one. OK, let me see. It is Lucia. Thank you so much. This is Stephanie, thank you, thank you. Oh, let me take the attendance really quick. Okay. Oh. Something happens here. And I don't know what is that. Just give me a minute. Because I'm getting like, um. oh, this is from eight, this one is, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, give me a minute. Uh -huh. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Give me a minute. December, Monday, 5th. Okay. Um, Alison, Daniela? Hello, Alison, no? Okay, what about Ana Marisol Zamora? Hello, Ana Marisol Zamora, are you here? No? Okay, okay, let's continue with you, Andrea Marisol Represa. Andrea Marisol Represa, are you here? No? What about Barbara? I don't know. 
No, Andrea Vanessa Landos. Andrea Vanessa Landos, no. Bárbara Cabrera. Hello, Bárbara. No, okay. Um, Brenda Castro. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Brenda, and welcome. Carolina del Carmen Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carolina. Give me a minute. Let me check, let me check. Thank you so much, Carolina. The other one is you, Claudia Lopez. Hello, Claudia I'm Lopez. Here, teacher. Hello, teacher. Welcome one more time, Claudia. Cristina Monke. Hello, Cristina. Welcome. Are you here? No. Oh. Okay. Um, Daniela Asensio. Daniela Asensio. Hello, Daniela. Are you here? Yes or yes or no, Daniela? No? Okay. Um Edgar Portillo. Hello, Edgar. Are you here? No? Okay. Let's continue with you, Ernesto. Ernesto. Hello, hello, Ernesto. Let me check the chat. Hello, hello, teacher. I'm here. Thank you, Ernesto. Good evening and welcome. I'm here. Griselda Moreno. Hello, Griselda. Nice to have you, Griselda. Welcome. Ivania Mendoza. Ivania Mendoza. No? Okay. Let's carry on with um you, Jennifer Torres. Jennifer Torres. Hello, Jennifer. No? Okay. Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss. No? Um, Jennifer Marroquin. No, um, Jocelyn Mancia. I'm here, teacher. Welcome, Jocelyn. It's nice to have you. Karen Garcia. Present, teacher. Welcome, Karen. Um, Carla Colocho. Hello, Carla. No, okay, she's absent. Um, Laura Molina. Laura Molina. Hello, hello, Laura. No? Okay. Um, Leslie Orellana. Leslie. Present. Thank you so much. Leslie Lisbeth de Rodriguez. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Lisbeth. Um, Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Here, teacher. Nice to have you, Lorena. Um, Lucia Cepeda. Hello, Lucia. Present, Thank you so much, Lucia. Um, Let's carry on with you, Mayra Mendez. Hello, Mayra. No. Eh, Raul Reyes, good evening. Present. Thank you. Dalila Barahona, good evening. Ruth del Carmen Chicas. Ruth, are you here? No? Okay. And Stephanie Quintanilla. Present. Thank you, Stephanie. It's nice to have you one more time. Again, people, this is going to be our last week of this module. So welcome, everybody. I will take the attendance one more time at the end of the class in case you miss um, the attendance today. This is going to be uh, today's agenda, as you may see. Over here, you have section number five. Tell me about your family. We are going to talk about relatives in here. And asking about families. This is class number 13. Let's begin with this video that is brought by the platform. Este video está en la platform. Okay, so vamos a escucharlo un poco. Y and then we are going to practice. Okay, let's listen and watch. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? 
He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay. So this is the conversation, right? Let me show you. This is the conversation that we're talking about, okay? It's about Rita and Sue, yeah? What is this conversation about? That question is for you, Griselda. Lizette Moreno. Griselda, what is this conversation about? De que se trata this conversation? Tell me, please. Thank you so much, Griselda. Um, de que se trata? Se trata de que se encuentran, al parecer Rita y Sue, y comienzan a conversar sobre la familia. Y entonces le pregunta que si es un hermano o algo así. Y entonces le dice que el hermano trabaja como, como en el gobierno. Y quiero ver qué otra cosa le dice. Este... Quiero ver. Le pregunta por, a la hermana, después le pregunta por el hermano y después... No sé qué más te dice. Ok, thank you so much. That was very good. Thank you so much. Karen, Elizabeth Garcia. Karen, question for you. Um, can you name the, the relatives that uh, Rita mentioned in this conversation? I mean, do we have a father? Do we have a mother? Do we have a sister, a brother, a niece? What do we have in this conversation? Can you tell me the family members that you, well, that this conversation mentioned? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Karen, Elizabeth Carpio. Thank you, thank you. Can you tell me the family like members that we have in this conversation? Please. Leslie, are you there, Leslie, please? Thank you. Can you tell me the family members that we have in this conversation? Mm -hmm. Leslie, thank you, thank you, Leslie. Este, eh, así como mencionaba, es decir, lo de lo que se trata la conversación, ¿verdad? O los miembros de la familia. Los miembros de la familia. Can you tell me those family members that yes. we have? There? Menciona al hermano y a la hermana. Ah, ¿Cómo eh, dice hermano y hermana en inglés? Uh, brother and sister. Okay, so we have brother and sister. Okay. Y ahorita se me acaba de ver poner la pantalla borrosa. No sé si solo sea un problema, pero no veo bien. Ahorita. Eh, sigue viendo su borroso, pero a, apenas el caso de ver que igual abajo también menciona. Uh, dice my sister works. Y... Okay. Todos lo ven borroso, o just you. No, you're not, teachers. Uh, no. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Exactly. We have a brother and a sister, right? We have a brother and a sister. Very good. Okay. Um, let's see. What kind of, of profession or occupation does Rita's brother have? Mm-hmm. What kind, what kind or of profession or occupation does Rita's brother have? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Do you understand the question? Stephanie, entiende la pregunta, Stephanie Quintanilla? No sé si quiere preguntar que, cuál es la ocupación del hermano de Rita. Beautiful, that is correct. La ocupación es... Un fotógrafo de la vida silvestre. Exactly. So we have wildlife 
photographer. Okay. Yes. Wildlife photographer. Very good. Okay. Very good. Um where where is his brother traveling? Where is his brother? Is in Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon River, right? In the, in the Amazon, Amazon yes. River. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. And then we have teníamos a final una question. Well, two questions. La primera question era esta. Where the Duritas parents live and what do they do? Yes. Necesito que escriban esas two questions in your notebook. Y luego voy a poner one more time el video, so you can answer these two questions, okay? Yep. Do you understand at home? Yes, yes, yes. Again, anote estas two questions. No sé si las ve bien. Si no las escribo en el chat. That's no problem for me. Okay. Uh, the first one is, uh, where do Rita's? Oh my gosh. Parents live. Okay. That's the first one. Okay, you have it in the chat. And the second one is what they do. What do they do? Yeah. Okay. What is their occupation or profession? What do they do for a living? Okay. Just write these two questions in your notebook. I will play one more time the uh, video so you can have them. Raul, do you understand? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you people, you can check the, the questions are in the chat on Zoom in case you don't have them. Okay, check the chat on Zoom. Teacher. Yes. I only remember that the her mom is a teaching in a university and her her father is a carpenter. Okay, very good. I will play one more time so you can listen the rest of the conversation so you can answer question number two, okay? Very good. Not number one is where do Rita's parents live and what do they do for a living? Very good. Okay, may I manage, people? Here we go. One more time. Okay. No, esta cosa no me deja. Okay, here we go. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31, Exercise 3, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, so we have two questions. Number one, where do Rita's parents live? Raise your hand if you have the answer, please. Raise your hand, levanta la mano. Thank you, Lorena. In Texas? They live in Texas. Very they good. They live in Texas. Exactly. Very good. In Texas. Okay. Very good. What about the second one? What do they do? Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. So uh, her mother is a teacher and his fa father is a carpenter. Very good. Okay. We're going to have some participation here. Uh, it's going to be random people, but if you want to participate, you can raise your hand anytime. Okay. Vamos a practicar with Dalila. Dalila. Hello, Dalila. No? Okay. Daniela Magali. Hello. Thank you, Daniela. And Claudia Lopez. Claudia Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Claudia, usted va a ser Rita y Daniela, you, you are Sue. Ready? Let's begin. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Yo no puedo ver. Mira, Ok, ¿no lo ven bien? No. Ahorita, no se preocupen. Ahorita les tomo imagen y se los envío a la, a la, al WhatsApp, al grupo de WhatsApp, porque okay, me han manage. Don't worry. So you can have it. Okay. Give me a minute. There you have it. Check the chat on, on WhatsApp, please. Okay, ready? Okay. Please begin. Tell me about tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on the very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He is a way different photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet can I meet them? Sure, but not now my sister away. She's not working in the USA this month. And your brother? She's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, we have his he's traveling in the Amazon. His, his. Thank you so much. Very good. Next one is going to be you. Let me check. Lucia. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, it's... Thank you. You are Rita, Lucia. And Raul, you are Sue, Raul. Ready? Let's begin. Yes. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister always, she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Very good, we have my sister's away. My sister's away. My sister's away, thank you so much. Very good, let's have another participation in here. Um, hmm. Lisbeth, thank you Lisbeth, thank you so much. My gosh, and you, Brenda. Thank you, Lisbeth, you are Rita, and Brenda, you are Sue. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Oh, well, my sister works for the work 
the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very great secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting, interesting family. Can I meet him? Sure, but not now. My sister, my sister's away. She is not working in the United States this month. And your brother? She's traveling in the Amazon. In the Amazon. In the Amazon. Okay. In the Amazon. Very good. No problem. Ernesto, you're next, Ernesto. You ready? Yes, teacher. Ernesto, you are Rita. Okay, Ernesto. And your partner is going to be, let me check, Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn Mancia. Jocelyn. Hello. You are Sue Jocelyn. Ready? Let's begin. Ready? Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Will my sister works for the government? Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure she working on a very secret project right now. <laughs> wow. And what about your brother? He is Wilfi photograph. Como se dice photographer? Uh, photographer. 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 Okay. What? What an instant family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not new. My sister, away she not working in the United States this this month. And your brother? He's traveling in this Amazon. Okay. Very good. Finish? He's traveling in the Amazon. In the Amazon. Okay. We have a few mistakes in pronunciation. In the Amazon. Okay. Exactly. But most of you are doing it very good. Thank you so I much you for, for your answer. Very good. How do you say, teacher? Uh, why will, will there will there for photographer? How do you say in English? Oh, we have wild wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. Wildlife okay, photographer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thank you so much. Very good. Um. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have another one. Let me get you, Stephanie. Are you there? I'm here. Stephanie, you are Ruth. You are Srita and Ruth. <laughs> okay. Ruth? Hello, Ruth. Are you there, Ruth? Ruth? Oh, Ruth. What's going on with Ruth? It has an answer. Okay, Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Leslie. Hello. You are Sue, Leslie. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister so. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on every secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wealthy photographer. Photographer. Ah, creo que así se pronuncia photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Let's get into some vocabulary related to relatives and family. Okay. We have this bunch of vocabulary that goes related to uh, family. Uh, we have these ones. 
I just need some participation for you so you can read, and then we will check pronunciation altogether. Lorena del Carmen, can you help me out reading, please? Read the vocabulary, Lorena. No sé si puede ver el vocabulario, Lorena. 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 Me, teacher. Yes, please. Um, mother, mom, father, mother-in-law, father-in-law, father, dad, parent, children, uncle, niece, nephew, grandson, grand together, grandchild, aunt, cousin, husband, wife, ex, son, dog, dog, Sister, brother, grandmother, grandfather, grandparent, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Ese no sé cómo se pronuncia. Okay, Stepmother. Uh -huh. uh, Stepfather. Yes, thank you so much. Very good. How okay. the meaning stepmother and stepfather? Oh, it's padrastro en, en madrastro. Ah, ah, okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna have this. The only mispronunciation of this is we have in-law, brother-in-law, okay? So brother-in-law, that is the only one mistake, but the rest, everything is very uh, good. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Great job. Okay, very good. This is vocabulary, it's basic vocabulary. So you should know how to pronounce this vocabulary and you should know how do we write it, okay? We have mother, mom, father, mother-in-law, father-in-law, partner, dad, parent, children, uncle, niece, nephew, grandson, granddaughter, grandchild, aunt, cousin, husband, wife, <laughs> then the most ex, okay? We use ex like with ex-wife, ex-husband, we have a son, a daughter, a sister. We have brother, we have grandmother, grandfather, grandparents. We have sister-in-law, brother-in-law, and we have stepmother and stepfather. Todos los que llevan in law, estas palabras que llevan in law, son políticos, you know what I mean? Like that. So here we have mother-in-law, Father-in-law. ¿Qué creen que significa father and mother-in-law? What is the meaning of those things? Suegro y suegra. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Igual here we have sister-in-law and brother-in-law. What is the meaning of that? Cuñado y cuñada. Exactly. Exactly. Cuñado y cuñada. Son cosas agregadas, right? ¿Cómo se decía padrastro y madrastro, teacher? Stepmother and stepfather. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, this is the basic vocabulary. Okay, remember that the typical family, we have a mother, a father, son, a daughter, and maybe we can have grandpa and grandma, right? Um, that's what we can have. And this is the basic vocabulary that we have about family. Yeah. Any question about this? Questions or doubts about it? Everything is clear? Uh, what is gra grandparent? Grandparent. It's like la combinación de los dos. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Del granddaughter, del grandfather and grandmother. That's the meaning. Es como el grandchild, es la combinación de ambas. Grandson exactly. y granddaughter. Exactly. Okay. Pero aquí creo que es grandparent. Siempre tiene que haber una es grandparent. Okay. Uh, yeah. Questions? No. Everything is clear. Yeah. Okay. How do we learn this thing by, by practicing? ¿Cómo aprendemos esto by practicing? Why? Because we have this typical question. Okay. Um, do you have? Oh my gosh. Uh, brothers and sisters. Okay. Look at this question here. Do you have brothers and sisters? 
Mm -hmm. We're working with do, which is the present. Something which is the present. Yep. Do you have brothers and sisters? Claudia Lopez. Claudia Lopez. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, brother and sister. Yes. Um, me falta una frase, verdad? Yes, I do. That is correct. Yes, I do have brothers and sisters. Very good. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Very good. Ahora, en esa respuesta, it is correct. However, les voy a dar one recommendation. Cuando tenemos una question in here, tiene que darme más detalles. Por ejemplo, la pregunta es, do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I do. Okay. I have one sister and one brother. Okay. Yes. My sister's name is Carla. Okay. She is a, I don't know, a nurse, let's say. Okay. Now I have a brother, his name is Carlos. Okay. His name is Carlos. He's 25 years old. And he's a musician. Yep. That is the answer that I need. Teacher, yep. una pregunta. Yes. Este, cuando hacen esa pregunta, pero uno debe, bueno, tiene que contestar porque solamente tiene hermana. Y no hermanos, solo, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? Oh, you can say, no, I don't have brothers and sister. I have just one sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, les voy, a, les voy a mostrar un poquito más. ¿Por qué necesito que me den más detalles de su respuesta? Porque you are learning English, okay? And the idea is que usted se expanda su vocabulario. ¿Cómo lo hace? Pues diciéndome más, yes? Yo sé, and I know, que you answer. Usted me contesta cuando le digo, Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I do, me dice. Okay. Hasta ahí, perfect. Pero necesito que usted practique your English. ¿Cómo lo hace usted? Pues, dándome más detalles. No sé si en pantalla ven Word document. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. So, the question is, do you have brothers? Okay. And sisters. Okay. Okay, lo que le comentaba, right? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Oops, I'm sorry, I forgot the comma here. I have. Yeah, hasta ahí. Oh, perdón, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hasta ahí, everything is perfect. Everything is wonderful, right? However, however, I need you to expand your answer. Necesito que me dé más detalles en su respuesta. ¿Cómo lo hace? Well, dándome más detalle. I have. A sister, and her name is Carla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She is, I don't know, 22 years old. Oops. Uh, and she's a um, nurse. She's a nurse. Okay. Yeah. I also have a brother, oopsie, his name is Carlos, and he has, I'm sorry, he is 25 years old, and he is a uh, lawyer, let's say, let's change this, lawyer, okay? Yeah, so this is the way you need to answer this simple question. Do you have brothers and sisters? If your answer is yes, you need to answer something like this. So you can give me more details about you, your brother and your sister, yes? Ahora, esta pregunta puede ser con un no. No, I don't. 
Okay. No, I don't. Igual. If you answer no, I don't, necesito que me dé más detalles. Por ejemplo, no, I don't. I just have a sister. Okay. In case you have one sister. ¿Y qué hace después? Lo mismo. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah. You see? In case... Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. And for example, then in my case is um, the, I tengo dos hermanos mayores que mí. No sé cómo se podría decir. I have two brothers older than me. No, no, no. no. sisters or brothers? Uh, brothers. Oh, yes. In that case, you said oh. Porque la cuestión... Mayores que mí. Exacto. No se podría. La, 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 la pregunta es, do you have brothers and sisters? You can say, I just, I just have two older brothers, okay? Older brothers, okay? I just have two older brothers, right? You can answer like that. Y luego me da los detalles de sus hermanos, right? What are their names, their ages, and what do okay. they do? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. You can answer this thing in different ways. Lo que tiene que tener en cuenta siempre, because you are learning English, es que su respuesta tiene que ser un poquito más amplia. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted se se me queda con, yes, I do, no, I don't, that is correct. That is correct. But, necesito que you practice your English. You know what I mean? ¿Cómo lo practica? Utilizando el verb to be, utilizando el simple present. Yep, the simple way, right? That's what we're doing in here. Yes, people? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes? I have a question. How do you say my mi hermano menor? Okay. Young, younger brother. Okay, so you can say my younger brother. Younger brother. Okay. Yeah, my younger brother. Okay. Oh, acuérdese que cuando se dice my younger brother, luego dice, oh, he's, you know, and then you say his age. Yep. Ok. Ahora, cuando es hijo único, how do you say I'm um, hijo único en inglés? How do you say that? I am the king. <laughs> ok, it is very good. It's, 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 it's quite good, but it's not, it's not correct. Ahorita le explico por qué. Ok. Entonces, cuando es hijo único, solo decimos I'm only child. Ok. An only child. I'm an only child. I'm an only child. Soy hijo único. I'm an only child. Ok. Yes. Pero recuerde, si usted puede decir, do you have brothers and sisters? No, I don't. I'm an only child. I'm an only child, okay? I like that. Again, when you have a question like um, like this, you need to give more details, right? Okay, vamos a tener otra question. Let's write another one. Do you live with your parents? Okay. Yes, do you live with your parents? That is the question. Oopsie, sorry. Okay. ¿Cómo contesta esta cuestión usted? Do you live with your parents? Mm -hmm. How do you answer this question? Do you live with your parents? No, I don't. I live with my husband. Very good. That's wonderful. That's the way. Okay, so you can answer like, no, I don't. Exactly. I live with my husband, right? Okay, again, what my husband, is? my husband and my two children. And my two children, very good. Okay. Oh, I did a mistake there. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, very good. Look at the answer. It's an answer complete, right? Everything is complete. She said, No, I don't. I live with my husband and my children. Okay. Pero me dijo, creo que two, right? Number two. Number two. Yes, two. 
Children. Okay, very good. Yeah, you see? This is a, um, a typical answer, right? Again, siempre que me conteste con un yes o con un no, then you give me more details about it. Is this clear? Is this clear? ¿Por qué lo necesito con respuesta larga? It's not because, yeah, I mean, it's because you, I need you to practice your English. That's the way. That's why I need you to do it like that, because I need you to practice your English. The more you practice your English, that's the better. Yep. That's the way. That's the way. Mm -hmm. um, do you live with your parents? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Um, um, yep. Questions about this? At home? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, en esa de do you live with your parents? Um, puede ser answer. Uh, yes, I do. I live with my mother and father and my sister younger. Exactly. My Hello. younger sister. My younger sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just like that. Very good. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, voy a dejar de compartir. Let's get back to the material that we have here, which is this one. Okay, uh, give me a minute. It's loading, and it's loading. Okay, here we go. Here we have men in the family. So we have this male information. We have a grandfather. We can say also grandpa. We have grandfather as well here. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm sorry, great grandfather great-grandfather we have grandpa and we have grandfather but we have great what is the meaning of great grandfather what is the meaning of that bisabuel thank you so much very good bisabuel we have great grandfather then we have grandpa or we can say grandfather or sometimes we call pa to your father right we have pa we can say father also we can say daddy if you're married, you can say husband. Okay, oh, this is my husband, Carlos, right? Or this is my husband, um, I don't know, Antonio, right? You can present your husband by that. Or we have an uncle and we have father-in-law. Also here, we don't have brother as guests, I guess, right? We, we don't have brothers, that's another one. Father-in-law. Okay, let's continue with some more vocabulary. Here we have, oh, oh, here we have the rest of the female um uh, let's say vocabulary we have a brother we have a nephew we have a boy we have a baby boy we have twin boys cousin brother-in-law we have a boyfriend we have a man and we have men okay this one is the plural man man right plural plural singular and this is the vocabulary related to female uh, family member right and yeah um and then i think we have the women the women uh in the family right we have great grandmother which is related to uh we have mother mom mommy sometimes we can say mommy okay uh we can have a cousin we have a niece a niece a sobrina mire. sobrina yeah niece Niece, Sabrina. Then we have cousin. Cousin, don't forget that cousin. Quiero mostrárselos aquí one more time. Cousin, no está aquí. Okay, cousin, mire, aquí está cousin, ve? A male. And here we have cousin with a girl. Jocelyn, thank you. Sí, eso le iba a preguntar si cousin era lo mismo para prima y primo. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We have cousin with girl, and we have a cousin with boys as well. Yeah. So it's the same. It's the same. Thank you so much. We have a niece, we have a daughter, and we have aunt. Okay, niece, daughter, and aunt. Yep. Let's continue. I think we have more. We have a girl twins. We have a girl. We have a sister. We have girlfriend, wife, teen. 
okay, teen, we have a woman and we have women, okay, woman, women. This is singular and this is plural, yes? Oh, this is the vocabulary related to family members. How do we, how do we get used to this one? Well, using it, okay? Teacher, how do you say a uh, teen? Teen, teen. Teen is like a teenager. That is the meaning of teen. Si ustedes se fijan, por ejemplo, en los números, hay unos números que terminan en teen. No sé si los han visto. Yes? Por ejemplo, tenemos 13, yes. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Entonces, Como una adolescente. Terminan... Exacto. Todos esos que terminan en teen son las edades de un adolescente. ¿Me acuerdo a mí? That's why esos números terminan en teen. So you can remember que son las edades de, un, de una persona. ¿Ok? So we can call it like, like that. Yeah, sometimes we call it teenager. That's a teenager we say sometimes right? as well. Yep. Uh, but this is the way we use uh, this is the vocabulary, okay? And then we have these typical questions, these typical dialogues. Tell me about your family, how your close family is made of, composed by. Tell me about your brother and your sister, what does he or she do? Tell me about your kids or kid in case you have one. Take a screenshot of this one, okay, of this material. And this is for you to practice, yeah? Tell me about your family. In this part, when the study said, tell me about your family, is that you need to explain, oh, I have a big family. I live with my mother, my father, my grandmother, um, and also my grandfather, okay? And then you give more details about your family. Where do you live? Do you live in the countryside or do you live in the city, okay? Oh, the second question is quite the same. How your close family is made of? Yeah, some families are big and some families are small, right? depending on the where you live. Hay algunos que solo viven with your parents y otros que solo viven con sus abuelos, right? Or maybe a veces están solos, you live a lot. Yeah, and then we have, tell me about your brother and sister, right? In this part, because the most details about my brother and my sister, if I have two, right? So I can say, oh, I have a brother, his name is Antonio. He's 25 years old, he's a lawyer, and he loves watching movies all weekend, yeah? What does he do? Well, as I said before, he's a lawyer. And tell me about your kids. If you have children or kids at home, yeah, you can tell me something. Oh, you can say, oh, I have a marriage, and I have a daughter and a son, yeah, I mean, my daughter's name is Carla. She's 11 years old. She's very good at math. And um, she loves playing music. Yep. Things like that. Yep. So, tome la captura de pantalla esta información. Usted complétela. And be ready tomorrow. Yeah. Voy a trabajar con random people tomorrow para que participe. Yes. Okay. Igual, no me tiene que enviar nada. Solo. Complete the link in casa if you have the time and tomorrow be ready. Okay? Yes. Again, this is about practice. okay. practicing and practicing. Okay? Uh, I will demand the attendance again. So I'm sorry. Again, may I minutes? Oops. Ah, my gosh. Better make it go. Oops. Okay. I apologize. Okay. Supone que tengo que compartir eso, pero no se me olvidó. Sorry. Okay. Aquí no ha pasado nada. Forget about it. Okay. Attendance, please. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Espérame, que esta cosa. Alison, Daniela. Alison? No? Okay. Uh, Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Andrea Marisol Represa. I'm here, teacher. Perfect, and it's nice to have you. Andrea, Panessa Landos. No? Okay, let's carry on with Barbara Cabrera. Present. Thank you, Barbara. Um, Brenda Castro. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Um, Carolina del Carmen Perez. Present yes. teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Claudia Lopez. Hello, Claudia. Hello, I... teacher. Present. You. Um, your partner is going to be Cristina Monge. Hello, Cristina Monge. Are you here? No? Okay. Daniela Asensio. Daniela Asensio. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Are you here, Edgar? No? Okay. Ernesto? Oh, teacher, I'm here. Thank you so much. Griselda Moreno. Hello, Griselda. Are you here? I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Um, Ivania Mendoza? Hello, Ivania. Are you here? No? Okay. Let's carry on with you, Jennifer Torres, Jennifer Moss, uh, Jennifer Marroquin, uh, Jocelyn Mancia. Hello. Present. Thank you. Um, Karen. I'm here, teacher. Carla Colocho. Thank you. I'm here. Thank you. Laura Molina. Hello, Laura. No? Okay. Um, Leslie, you're here, right, Leslie? Lisbeth de Rodriguez. Thank you. I'm here. Lauren. Thank you. Lisbeth Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Lucia Cepeda de Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Mayra, she's absent, right? Okay. Um, Raul Reyes. Present. Lila, Ruth del Carmen Chicas. Hello, Ruth. Are you here? No? Okay. Um, and Stephanie Abigail. Present. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Again, let's get back to the presentation. Here we have this material so you can talk to about a little bit about your relatives. Okay, so you can use that vocabulary. Um, for example, tell me about your family. That's the typical question when you explain the things about your relatives. Where do, I mean, who do you live with? Like, where do you live? Um, do you live with your parents? Do you live with your grandparents? Um, do you have brothers and sisters? Um, do you have like, I don't know, children? Are you married? Um, what's your husband's name? What's your wife's name? Okay, tell me about your brother or sister. What does he or she do? Okay, tell me about your kids. If you have kids, how many, how many kids do you have? Do you have one, two, three, four, five, six? I don't know. Yeah, um, this is about relatives. Again, this vocabulary that you have in here, let me show you one more time. This vocabulary is the one you are going to use when you talk about your relatives, okay? Um, who do you live with? Like, where do you live? Yeah, this is the way you are going to do it in this exercise. Like this vocabulary that you have here, 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 and also here, you are going to use in this part. Do you have a question at home? Do you have a question at home? Is everything clear, people? Is everything clear? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Again, remember, ¿cómo aprende usted esto que pues vemos en las clases? Usándolo, ¿ya? Yeah? Utilícelo, right? En casa. Llegue donde está su hijo y dígale, oh, you are my son. Donde está su hija, you are my daughter. Donde está su abuela? You are my grandmother. You are my grandma. Ya, yeah? así lo ocupa. No tenga miedo, aunque se rían un poquito. Ya, yeah? because sometimes it's funny. But use it. Use it, right? Little by little, use it. So you can get used to this one. Okay? So I think we're finished. Um, let me see. Yep, I think we're finished for today's class. People, it was nice to have you. Take care. 
Uh, be nice and be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye, Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night.